All About Your Faith presents a Storytime Original. Defining Joy Every so often, you meet a truly exceptional person in life. They are the types of individuals who you need only spend perhaps a half an hour with, and they've left an impression on you that changes how you view the world and yourself. Often, I found, they are identified by their values and motivation that differs from the great majority of others. Often deep thinkers, they enjoy the pursuit of life's intangible wealth that is found in truth. One such friend recently challenged myself and others to a thought experiment. We sat together in the den one evening. He handed us each a notepad and pen, then asked, what is one memory you have of joy? What did you experience and what made it special to you? We took our own time to reminisce and wrote out our best experiences on the pad. For myself, I thought for quite a while. There have been many experiences in my life that can be described as joy. But joy is tricky. Some memories are intermingled with other feelings, joy and sadness, sometimes even pain. But then again, other memories of joy have been fleeting, brief, or even superficial. They wouldn't do for such an occasion. I knew I could do better. For a moment I wondered, what memories might I have buried under experience and pursuit that really reflect joy? What does it mean to feel joy? I dug deeper and found one or two gems that stood out, and I'll share one with you. It may be simple, maybe not as grand to some, but I'll never forget how I felt when I left home for college. It wasn't my first time away from home, but it was one of the first times I was truly on my own, free to experience and learn all that I had ambition for. I attended a private religious university, not everyone's cup of tea to be sure, but it was for me. I found myself immersed with like-minded people. There was much less to worry about and distract from my pursuits. I embraced the culture of campus life and the genuine sense of goodness and discipline found amongst the majority of the student body. There was always activity available on any given day to enrich the mind and spirit. The diverse talents of thousands of students and teachers spread out over 400 acres among 40 independent and dedicated buildings blossomed and filled the atmosphere with a satisfying richness of intellectual pursuit and spiritual glow. Only a few months earlier, I had resolved to leave home. I felt strongly it was time to pursue my own interests and begin focusing on what I wanted from life. My first day, I arrived on campus by bus from the airport. A cold January just after the new year greeted me by a snow-covered hillside where the campus was situated, the bus pulling up to an icy walkway. Though I never cared much for the weather, and even worked extra hard to avoid enduring a fourth winter there, I was elated. With my bags in hand, I began to walk the campus, wandering inside and out, between buildings and corridors and greenways of the main grounds. I had no idea where I was going, to be honest. But it hardly mattered. I felt right at home. Those first few months were like waking up from a long dream, being refreshed and energized with new life and vitality. I threw myself enthusiastically into my studies and found many physical and social activities to engage in besides. Circumstances had limited the amount of interpersonal growth I had available to me at home as a youth, but here I was free to engage and learned more about myself and potential than at almost any other time. I placed my pad and pen on the floor next to me where I sat. After a moment, our friend leading this nostalgic exchange asked that we think about what we've written and see if we can't derive a definition of joy based on this memory. And so we thought, and after a time and a light exchange of views, there were many good answers given. In my own pondering view, I first considered the joys written about in old stories, biblical accounts, and expressions of joy that are common to us. They tell us that joy is found in peace, assurance, in praise, and even worship, that joy doesn't have to be boisterous, jovial, or juvenile. Regarding my own shared memory this night, for me, in that space, at that time in my life, I felt a sense of joy and determined action for my own well-being. A sense that seemed amplified by the wisdom of principal virtues, 
directing each experience over the course of my college education, and have continued to guide and direct my course these years later and to this day. That night, I came to understand this simple definition of joy. The joy is free self-exploration guided by true principles.